Okay, so I'm taking Urban Decay's Naked Basics Palette and just a regular size brush and I'm using the light color to create like a base all over my eye. Nice and quick, like that, no big deal. Um, then I'm gonna take a smaller little powder brush and use like a medium brown. I'm not going for like a real overmade look tonight, but I definitely wanna look made up. I just not gonna wear a whole lot of color. So I kind of put that in the crease. See like that? And I tend to go a little heavier on the outside of the eye right there because it tends to give more of like a cat eye effect. Um, and I have like big, bulgy, like, what? Kind of face that like a little girl in a meme would have. So I try to make them look as almond shaped as I possibly can. Then I come in right here on the lid and fill it in about halfway. Like that, still looks kind of busted, but that's all right. Um, okay, then the next step is I pick up my Naked 2 Urban Decay palette with another small brush. And tonight I'm wearing black and white, so I'm just gonna stick with like the purple and gold shades for tonight. So I take the purple, just a little bit of it. It's kind of a glittery purple. I don't usually like glittery, bedazzled type things, but this doesn't really look like a lot of glitter. It just has kind of like a shimmer to it for nighttime. So that goes on next. Still looks kind of busted, right? Then I take a big fat brush like this, and I use like this light champagne gold color. Just brush a bunch on there, and then I just kind of like Cover the lid. Like that. Now don't forget that this is a quick makeup tutorial. I had to turn the music down because Todd's probably gonna be mad that I was playing music, but I always play music when I get dressed because it gets you in the mood. But I, it might not be good for YouTube. So, this is a quick makeup tutorial. This isn't like any type of professional, yo, this is how to get the best possible look or recommendations for any makeup at all. This is just what I'm doing tonight. So then I take a small angled brush like this and I use a dark color, like either the black or the dark purple. Tonight I'm using black. And I just line the top lid right across there. So I do like a, so it gives me like an eyeliner effect. I like shadow more than liner because it's easier to clean off if you make a mistake and it's a little bit of a softer look. If you're doing like a cat eye or something like that, then liner is necessary, but I actually like, uh, powder. So there you go. Just a little bit of like more definition. Next stop. Is lashes. I'm going to do a whole lash tutorial next week, but because normally I wear these, which is the little individual ones and they're pretty easy to put on. But tonight I'm going to wear the strips. I don't normally like the strips because they tend to lift in the corners and if they start to lift, they're a pain to get back on and if you wear the little individual ones, it's just way easier. I use hair weave glue for glue. It's Premier Super Bond Professional Hair Glue and I get it at Sally's. It's 99 cents on the bottom shelf right under the hair extensions. It has a red lid, but mine's old and clogged so I have to uh, shake the glue out. So what I'm gonna do with these is take the uh, hair, I mean the eyelash extension, 
and I just kind of like rub it into the glue. If you have a working lid on your bottle of glue, then you just squeeze it onto the eyelash. But I have to go ghetto style. So I put a little bit of glue on there. And then you want to like roll it, like bend it like this so it shapes your eye a little bit better. And then I just set it gently on my eyelid. And then I use tweezers to kind of set it in place like that. Sorry for not looking at the camera. I've got to learn how to do this YouTube thing. So I have to look at myself. Sorry. Um, all right, there you go. So there's one. And then I like to use tweezers to pick them up with too because then you're, they don't stick. I actually tend to pull the little end off sometimes because they're a little too long and I have a big old bow guys but sometimes they're a little too long so you have to like clip the little ends off of it. So I'm gonna rub it into the glue here. Get the glue on it. Make a little bit of a mess. Or make a giant mess. Crap. This is why I don't use straps. Alright, this is a fail. Okay, better. And then you just bend it. And then... Again, I use tweezers to set it in place as such. Now, I kind of made a hot mess with sticking some of these together, but you're not going to be able to tell by the time I'm done. So, eyelashes are on. And... Now I'm going to take that sharp angled brush and dip it back into the black and line what they call the water line of your eye. So it's like the that part. See the difference? Whatever. I don't know. Line the water line, which is that inside lid of your lower lid. Some people can't do it because they get real sensitive and it, it just drives them nuts. But I just line it like that. Mind you, if I were doing work on a client, I would be much more professional and less rushed. Um, but because it's me and I'm in a hurry, I'm just gonna give it to you real. So you throw that crap on like that. Make sure that your eyelashes are stuck down real good. I just kind of like go back over them like this. I have a zit. I'm just gonna mix and start my period. Um, so now I'm good. Now I'm just gonna take the black and create like just a little bit of a darker spot in the corner of my upper lid like this. Kind of in the shape of like a V. You might be able to see it better this way. See, looks messy, but then you, you just fill it in. And then you drag it into the corners of your eye. Like so. Then I take a makeup wipe. I actually prefer Walgreens brand. Um, cleansing towelettes and I go right under my eye right here and right here and you see that that would have been stuck to your face and stuck to your foundation and your makeup and you would have looked like you had raccoon eyes all night that's why we do our eyes first now I still have to do my eyebrows and my mascara that's totally separate so that's done. 
Now we take a little tinted moisturizer, any brand. I actually use a brand by Selma Hayek. Crazy, right? Called Nuance. They sell it at CVS. I used to use Laura Mercier that I got at Sephora, but I found that this one is actually really good, so I'm happy with it. Then I take my foundation. Um, I actually like this brand from Sally's. It's called Get Flawless. And you have to find your right color. We'll talk about that kind of thing later. And I put it on with a brush in circles so that I fill in all my little wrinkles and lines and whatever. Obviously not going back over your eye. Little circles come around your eye like this. When I go in, not out, because you want to fill in those little wrinkles that we all have. Um, a lot of people like to use a sponge. You can use your fingers, whatever floats your boat. I'm not trying to be a professional makeup artist. If you want a really good makeup artist, then you should check out Jacqueline Hill, her YouTube channel. Um, subscribe to that. She actually is a gorgeous young girl who lives here in Tampa and is absolutely incredible. One of my favorites, Jacqueline Hill and Jackie Riley. Look them up on Instagram and on YouTube. They have some great tutorials. I steal a lot of their ideas. None of which am I using right now because this is my get quick, get ready quick, whatever, routine. So, foundation is on. Um, next, I use concealer. Also, the Get Flawless from Sally's, which I happen to like. I use a brush, and I kind of do like a under eye thing like this, which gives me the illusion of kind of looking like a Kardashian. <laughs> I put some in the corners of my nose because as we age, if you're my age or older, um, we tend to get red right through there, and so it helps like eliminate some of the redness. And then I usually do a line down the center of my nose and a little spot in my forehead. When you take pictures, it gives you the idea of having a little bit better like bone structure and uh, highlights. So that's why I like to fill in those spots. My face is just very plain. So if I can give the illusion of having a little more of an exotic shape, that's what I like to do. If you have sits like I do, right there, cover those up. Don't know how, I'm 38 and I still have zits, but I do. So there. Now, my favorite part is, I gotta get one. Favorite part is eyebrows. And that comes in. Now, now I have to look in the mirror to do this, but I'm gonna kind of give you an example. See how thin kind of shade my eyebrows are overplucked from the 90s? I'm gonna fill in this one and then I'll try to show you how I do the other one. Basically what you want to do is, I like to use a dark brown powder. I blend these two. Um, and going along the natural hairline that you have already, just uh, thicken it up. Go a little below, a little above. There's going to be like really, really good eyebrow tutorials out there. Um, this isn't one of them. This is just what I do. See the difference already? Kim Kardashian, Kelly Collins. Kim Kardashian, Kelly Collins. So what I try to do is thicken it up, first of all, like right through there. So I kind of draw like a fake line from the inside of the corner of my eye to like where the eye points up right there to start. And then I thicken up this section here and kind of start to like make the arch. And then you just go back in and fill in the shape. You have to play around a little bit with it. Just kind of fill in the shape the way you would want it if you were doing it. Um, And however you like your eyebrows to look. 
These are a little bit overdone, but it's for a Saturday night out, so it's kind of okay. Now, one of my favorite tricks is this. I take a clean mascara wand. You can buy them anywhere. A little bit of hairspray. Spray hairspray on it. And then brush your eyebrows up into a natural, like, fluttery position. And it helps the makeup stay on so your eyebrows don't um, come off later on the night. And then people are like, oh, she had fake eyebrows. Okay, so now, super quick, I'm in, like, speed mode. I take a little br blush. I usually use Urban Decay, but I'm out of it right now. And this NYX comes from CVS. I like it. This is more of a peachy color. I'm going to smile and put it on my cheeks where the sun would hit me. A little on the nose, a little on the forehead. I know I look like a clown right now, but I won't when it's all said and done. Um, maybe a little on the, the decolleté cleavage, whatever that's called. <sighs> and a little bronzer. Again, I like Urban Decay. It's called Flushed. Um, I just like the way it goes on and the way it stays on more so than anything. Use just like a big uh, powder brush, any kind of brush really will do. Um, so there's that. And now I like Voluminous by L'Oreal Mascara. Uh, my second favorite is Bad Gal Lash, which you can get at Sephora. It's made by Benefit, but I happen to be out of it right now and I was cheap, so I went with Voluminous by L'Oreal. Uh, I prefer mascaras that say they give volume as opposed to mascaras that say they promote length because you can always build length on your, onto your eyes. Um, I don't buy the, the length building mascaras. I like the thicker, fluffier ones like this uh, that give you volume. Now I've added fake lashes already, so I'm one step ahead of the game as far as volume and length go. I know I'm a cheater. Uh, that's okay, there aren't a whole lot of things on me that are real anyway. But uh, if you want to add length, I'm gonna do a tutorial next week on um, eyelash, fake eyelashes and mascaras and stuff. So we'll talk about that. But right now I'm using L'Oreal Voluminous and I'm just gonna like lightly do my under eye. I already have enough darkness going on from lining my waterline um, that I don't need to add a whole lot more because the darker you try to do like a smoky under the eye, for us gals that are maybe a few years older, the more it will actually shadow under your eyes and make you look like you have bags, which is the opposite of what we're trying to do in the first place. So that being done, I'm gonna take a wide flat eye shadow brush and go back to my Naked palette and use more of like the sparkly champagne-y color Mix it a little bit and just lightly tap the top of my eyelid. Now I know I said don't go back and do mascara after you already did your foundation, but since I'm using a light, light color, uh, if it dribbles a little bit onto my face, it's not, it's not the end of the world. We'll just call it like a, a bright, a brightener, a highlighter, whatever you want to call it. And I'm gonna straighten my eyelash. It was a little crooked, which again is why I prefer the individuals to the strips, but whatever. So I'll be back in a minute. Trying to finish curling these little pieces of my hair. that I can get out the door and hopefully not be super late. I'm gonna add a little more uh, powder because some of mine came off because I had to fix my eyes. Um, 
This is definitely not a night that you want to take any advice from me as far as makeup and hair goes because I'm in such a hurry. But whatever. So that's that. I will line my lips and use gloss later. I'm going to add a little bit of Davines hair oil to give my hair a sleek shine and it smells absolutely ridiculous. It's French and you can't just get it anywhere and it costs a fortune so I don't necessarily recommend it but It's good stuff. You can actually use it as like a lotion or body oil too. I'm gonna spray on a little perfume. Well, well, little, just in case, you never know. A little here, a little on the neck, a little on my hair. This is Walgreens imitation Carolina Herrera for me. Throw on some deodorant because I forgot that upstairs. Luckily I got my nails done today so I'm good on that. Grab a little cash, cause you gotta be able to make pain. Actually, that's just for the cab driver. Don't drink and drive. Um, all right, so that's as good as it's gonna get for this evening. I will, um, I'm itching right here because my pants are, my pants are still wet. But I don't like to wear a lot of lipstick because I think I'm too old for it, so I just usually throw on. This is um, Buxom by Bare Essentials, and it gives you that tingly, like, mm -mm, duck lip. If you want to, like, do the Instagram showdown later, that's good for that. Um, another little thing of powder, and what is up? It's time to go. Mm -hmm.